<coughs> Greetings viewers and subscribers. Welcome back to another vlog. This is Farmer Andrew and here with the channel Fruits for the Youths. Now today peeps, as usual, going on the farm to get some work done. Remember, I'm doing some spraying, burning the land and I'm also, you know, getting the land ready for June because, you know, as I said, May is a month that we don't really do any planting during the May time except for the cash crops. We go. But we're we getting we yeah, go. Man, respect. <laughs> but we're just getting the getting the land ready. You know, it's repetitious because I, I keep telling you guys. But that's what we are pretty much doing today. Alright? So what I'm gonna do this morning, since I have a, li a little water shortage on the farm, I'm going to get some water from the river. Yes, we're gonna get some water from the river peeps. And um, I have my jugs, my water jugs. The wife is here with me today. You know, so we're catching some water to do our spraying. So there she goes. It's a good look today, peeps. I have another bottle here. I have my, my chemicals here to do my spraying. I have a variety. I have guy quat. I have a sticker spreader. I have the clean out and I have the pillar gola. All right. And these are what we're going to use today to spray. So my journey today will be about using some herbicide on the land, get, getting the land prepared, you know, for June. Also, I've gotten some land prepared to plant some ginger. I'm going to give you an update on that. So peeps, stick around. And remember, Fruits for Juice is here, so come along on the journey. So I'm looking for a deep part, peeps. I think right here is okay. Whoa, the back is heavy. So this is just for me to have some extra water on the farm peeps. No. I bought these bottles to store gas in. They're coming in very handy now. Now if you don't stream right there, still helping out. It's filling up filling up slowly but surely. So this is what farm life is about guys. You have to be um, you have to improvise and be very creative. I mm -hmm. wonder how the river life is going. With the fishes and stuff. Yes, peeps, so this, what we are doing right here, it will give me a lot of help. Instead of me walking up and down to get the water. So yes, I appreciate this right here. Mm -hmm. Good. So here we go now, peeps. Made it on the farm. Here has been newly planted some cabbage. They're still laying down, so you can know this was planted yesterday. Right here is a brand new cabbage nursery. Ten thousand. See them? All right. So it's not a bad look, peeps. Farm is looking well. The Clarendon side is, has some heavy clouds. Same as the Saint Anne side. All right. Cabbage nursery peeps. All right. So all of here. That's cabbage peeps. On the farm now peeps. Here was once the Kalaloo nursery. Got rid of that. I'm pretty much done with cabbage now peeps. I think I have to do some new set of cabbage now. 
I'm going to turn right here into a cabbage nursery where, they, where I had the Callaloo nursery. So I'm just backtracking now, peeps. The land looks very nice, as in well burnt. I think I did a good job in burning the land. Not seeing too many green grass. But a lot of brown ones here in the section that I burned. And this goes all the way down there. Right, so it's a good look. Now, I also burn between some of the plantains here. I'm gonna take a look at it. You know people when you burn the land and it doesn't quail the same time. You know? It takes a while so this is the first time I'm coming back here. This we have a water hole there, it's not too filled with water. So here we are peeps. Mm -hmm. I need to go some more in the plantains. Over here now was burnt the other day like here and you can see that the men came and they did some work which is good because I want to plant some more ginger so I'm gonna plant it here where it is all plowed up so the guys did a good job I'm pleased with what I'm seeing I can plant the ginger here now between here, over there, and on this side right here. And I still have more land up here. So it's not a bad look, peeps. I have to give thanks. Since I want to plant my ginger next week, peeps, I'm still gonna, and, this, and it is raining, rainy season. I'm gonna run some herbicide over what was plowed. Just to ensure that I don't get a lot of grass. Same time. You know? Plus I have to spray the land for fungus because ginger is very very complicated peeps. Alright. Now I'm seeing ginger popping up here. Look here peeps. I'm seeing the ginger popping up. Look, see? That's ginger. That right there is ginger. So I am happy peeps. But what I don't like now. Because I burnt the land the other day, as you can see, the brown grass is on it. I don't know if I, if the brownness on some of the ginger is due to where it was burnt, see? Or is it fungus? I don't think no fungus will affect it at this stage. But you can't be too sure, peeps. Because remember, as a new farmer, it's my first time planting ginger. So I'm going by the books this time. Mm -hmm. So I'm very pleased people know what I'm seeing. I'm seeing the ginger sprouting out. Alright. Jamad. Jamad. The ginger farmer. Skoda. Bless up man. You know you're you know you gonna love to see this. The progression of this, you know. Peeps. What I want now. Is this ginger the weed out. But it's all good. It's all good, peeps. I'm happy. I'm seeing the ginger pushing out. That is to tell me that good things is yet to come. All right. Look good, peeps. See, ginger coming out. So we give thanks for the rain the other day. So what I gotta do now, peeps? I planted this ginger. I think it was. In April, now we are in May. So I have to go back to the drawing board and to see what I have to do next. Right? Now this callaloo has been ignored for a while because of the rain. But I said is very stocky. I've been neglecting this callaloo. But what I'm gonna do, peeps, I'm gonna cut it right down and see if it will spring up again and give me some nice callaloo. Also, right up here has nothing, so I'm gonna put some ginger right at the top here. And you can see where it rained over here. 
if you look at the soil real well you see where it was drizzling see and it got some wet which is good very good peeps so you see peeps you have to give thanks because we are getting blessing from the soil from the heavens from the universe it's a god thing you know so we appreciate we, we appreciate of what we are seeing very awesome so today now peeps i'm gonna get a cocktail ready to burn some grass we had seven days worth of sun heat last week this cabbage here needs to be cured people but my gosh man time is killing me look at the cabbage peeps i'm so ashamed I am so ashamed peeps. Worms are having a field day with it. Look. My name start folding but you know, nice peeps. Still gonna try with them. Not gonna give up. So here was the last place that I burnt. Don't look well burnt though. Gonna have to burn over here too. Here we go with this corn right here. I don't think this corn is good peeps. We have too many heads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine heads peeps on one corn. That can't be good. All right, so peeps are here to burn today. Some land over there where you see it's green. I'm just gonna see if I can burn as much land as I can. Stick around peeps. And I'll see you in a little bit. Yes, peeps. Again, I'm here. I've done some spraying. Now, let me show you what I did. Now, where you see that corn tree is right here? Yes, this one right here. I have sprayed from down there. All the way up past that banana tree here. And what I did right here where we have the green because if you notice here it has been burnt I burnt right here from the green all the way down to that other banana tree right there see so that is what I've done so far in the morning peeps the sun is very hot So I've decided to take a break and if it doesn't rain I'm going to come back out here later and get some more land burning done. Now what I want to do later, I want to go in between there, between the plantains and I want to burn it out. As I said I have some plants to put pumpkin inside here. I also have another bed just across from this one that I've burnt right here. This is the one that has been burnt. Go all the way down there. So I have this bed over here. Let me show you this one right here. All the way down to burn. I'm not going to trouble over there because we have pumpkin around there. We also have some pumpkins close by. And because of the rain peeps, some of the pumpkin has been rotting. See, we have a rotten pumpkin right there. We have nice other nice pumpkin here. We have some baby pumpkins coming up. See, so I have all of this to burn. A lot of land peeps. So you know it's gonna take a while. I'm just giving you an update. The pumpkin here is pretty much on a bush too. So as soon as we get them out to get the land burn. No wasting of time, no itching peeps. So this is the life of a farmer peeps. This is the life of a farmer. Very hectic at times. Sun is hot. Sometimes it's very hard to come out here and get things done. But you know we have to put on our our ready shoes and our ready hat and just do road. Because if you think twice about it, peeps, you're not going to get it done. Just make up your mind, stay focused, and execute. So with all that said, peeps, 
thanks for watching remember gossip is a broke people sport remember to love your parents love your neighbor and fruits for you to walk good